Hello students. Again let us solve some other questions in the exercise 5.1. See the question. Find all the points of discontinuity of f where f is defined by f of x equal to mod x plus 3 if x is less than or equal to minus 3 minus 2x if minus 3 less than x less than 3 and 6x plus 2 if x is greater than or equal to 3. See here it is defined in a different way in different intervals. Up to minus 3 it is defined like this mod x plus 3. Minus 3 to plus 3 minus 2x and x is greater than or equal to 3 it is 6x plus 2. And now we have to take this different situation. Function is defined for every real number. And let us take C. C be a real number. We will have five different cases. It is C is less than minus 3. And second case is C is equal to minus 3. So here where the function switch over you have to take that point separately. And third case is C lies between minus 3 to plus 3. And fourth case is c is equal to 3. See here, let c function switch over. And that point you have to take separately. c is equal to 3. And last one is c is greater than 3. And in all these cases, you have to check the continuity of this function. The given function is f of x is equal to mod x plus 3 if x less than or equal to minus 3, minus 2x if minus 3 less than x less than 3, 6x plus 2 if x is greater than or equal to 3. Let us take the first case that is c is less than minus 3. When c is less than minus 3, what is f of c? See here f of x is equal to mod x plus 3 when c is less than minus 3. Here mod c plus 3. Mod c plus 3. And modulus of x is equal to minus x when x is less than 0. You know that. And here c is less than minus 3. Therefore, how the function is defined? minus c plus 3 and this is equal to minus c. Here c is negative, minus of minus is positive and minus c will be positive real number. You should know that here c itself a negative real number, minus c will become a positive real number. And that's why here mod c is equal to minus c as c is less than 0. And uh, similarly you have to find limit extends to c f of x. And limit extending to c f of x equal to limit extending to c mod x plus 3 and that's also equal to minus c plus 3 and here limit of the function is equal to value of the function limit extending to c f of x is equal to f of c therefore f of x is continuous at x equal to c where c is less than minus 3. Let us take the second case that is c is equal to minus 3. At minus 3 what happens you just observe. First you have to find f of minus 3. What is f of minus 3? Modulus of minus 3 plus 3. What is modulus of minus 3? Plus 3. 3 plus 3 which is equal to 6. Limit extending to minus 3 minus f of x equal to limit extending to minus 3 minus mod x plus 3. That is equal to mod of minus 3 plus 3. That is equal to 3 plus 3 is equal to 6. And the limit extending to minus 3 plus f of x is equal to limit extending to minus 3 plus minus 2x because when it is uh, minus 3 plus slightly greater than minus 3 it is minus 2x and minus 2x that is equal to minus 2 into minus 3 that is equal to 6. And here limit of the function that is left hand limit, right hand limit and value of the function are equal and uh, limit extending to minus 3 minus f of x limit extending to minus 3 plus f of x that is equal to f of minus 3 therefore f of x is continuous at x equal to minus 3. Let us take the third case that is uh, c lies between minus 3 to plus 3 and uh, first let us find f of c f of c is equal to here c here when it is lies between minus 3 to plus 3 function is defined as minus 2x f of c is equal to minus 2c. And limit extending to c f of x, c minus and c plus in both cases it is defined minus 2x only. Limit extending to c minus minus 2x, that is equal to minus 2c. And limit extending to c plus f of x extending to c plus minus 2x, that is also equal to minus 2c. And limit of the function, value of the functions are equal and therefore function is continuous when c lies between minus 3 to 
plus 3. Let c is equal to 3. And what is f of 3? f of 3 is equal to 6 into 3 plus 2 is equal to 18 plus 2 is equal to 20. And uh, limit extending to 3 plus f of x is equal to limit extending to 3 plus 6x plus 2. 3 plus means greater than 2. That is equal to 6 into 3 plus 2, 18 plus 2 which is equal to 20. And the limit extending to 3 minus f of x. When it is slightly less than 3, it is minus 2x. And that is equal to th limit extending to 3 minus minus 2x. That is equal to minus 2 into 3. That is equal to minus 6. Here you can observe that left hand limit is minus 6. The right hand limit is 20. And the left hand limit is not equal to right hand limit. Therefore, f of x is not continuous at x equal to 3. And finally, let us come to the last case that is c is greater than 3. When c is greater than 3, let us take f of c. f of c is equal to 6x plus 2 when x is greater than or equal to 3. Therefore, what is f of c? 6c plus 2. And limit extending to c minus f of x is equal to limit extending to c minus 6x plus 2. That is equal to 6c plus 2. Limit extending to c plus f of x equal to limit extending to c plus 6x plus 2. You need not write it separately. You just write limit extending to c f of x directly. And that is equal to 6c plus 2. Here limit of the function and value of the function are equal. Therefore, f of x is continuous at x equal to c. And uh, thus, you will have the function. It is continuous everywhere except at x equal to 3. f of x is discontinuous only at one point that is at x equal to 3. Now you see this question. Find all the points of discontinuity of f where f is defined by f of x equal to mod x by x if x not equal to 0 and minus 1 if x equal to 0. Here f of x is defined for all real number and uh, let c be a real number and uh, you have to take the continuity of the function three different cases and case one is c greater than 0. When c greater than 0, how the function will become? Just observe f of c is equal to c greater than 0 means either it is less than 0 or greater than 0, it is not equal. That is why in both the cases the function is defined like this only mod x by x and f of c is equal to mod c by c and uh, mod c is equal to c only when it is positive. Therefore, c by c which is equal to 1 and the limit extends to c f of x is equal to limit extending to c mod x by x when c is positive it is mod c by c that is equal to c by c which is equal to 1 and here limit extending to c f of x is equal to f of c therefore f of x is continuous at x equal to c and similarly we can check the continuity when c is less than 0 and case 2 when c is less than 0. f of c is equal to mod c by c. Here mod c is equal to minus c because c is negative and minus c by c which is equal to minus 1. And the limit extends to c f of x is equal to limit extending to c mod x by x that is equal to mod c by c. Here mod c is equal to minus c minus c by c which is equal to minus 1. And here you can observe the limit of the function and value of the function are equal limit extending to c f of x equal to f of c therefore f of x is continuous at x equal to c when c is negative and you have to check the continuity of the function at c is equal to 0 and you take the third case that is case 3 when c is equal to 0 and what is f of 0 f of 0 is equal to minus 1 it is defined here like this when x equal to 0, it is defined as minus 1. And let us find the left hand limit and right hand limit separately. Even the function is defined in the same way and the limits will be different. Just observe here. Limit extending to 0 plus f of x is equal to limit extending to 0 plus mod x by x because f of x equal to mod x by x for all the real number excluding 0. Here 0 plus does not mean 0. It is slightly greater than 0. Limit extending to mod x by x that is equal to mod x by x. Here mod x is equal to x only when x is positive. Therefore, it is x by x which is equal to 1. And the limit extending to 0 minus f of x is equal to limit extending to 0 minus mod x by x. 
here that's equal to mod x by x when x is negative mod x is minus x by x which is equal to minus 1 and uh, limit extending to 0 plus f of x is not equal to limit extending to 0 minus f of x therefore f of x is not continuous at x equal to 0 and uh, with this much i will conclude this video and again we will have some other questions of the same type let us solve that in the next video thank you